Now that we see what the stadium could look like, there are more changes that could be coming to downtown Jacksonville. Right now, the Duval County Jail is located right in the middle of a planned park and housing development. It's also close to TIA Bank Field. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry has brought up moving it in the past, and now it's coming to light again. Reporter Jim Pickett is joining us live from outside the jail. Jim, it is in not the best place. So what's going to take place now? Well, you know, as you had mentioned, this has been a concern right here. What we're basically seeing is that uh, there is talk about moving it once again. The incoming council president says he wants to make that a priority. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of history about the jail downtown here. It was built 31 years ago, and Tariq, as you were saying, it's caused a lot of controversy since it's been here because it's right in the middle of this planned park. It's also close to the stadium. So the incoming council president told us on this week in Jack Jacksonville, he wants to make it a priority to try to get this moved. One of the things that I'll be talking about in my installation address uh, in a week or two is the need for a new jail. Uh, I think our jail is over 30 years old and uh, it, it's not in a good condition presently and we need to have a discussion in the community about a new jail and I'll be setting up a process where we can have that public discussion involving the public defender, the courts, uh, the state attorney, the clerk of the court, bringing all the people together and trying to figure out where we move it. You know, easy to say to move it, but where's it going to go? One talk has been at the P Farm, the Montgomery Correctional Institute, on the north side. You know, Mayor Curry talked about this in 2018. In fact, he had put this in his five-year plan for something for that to happen. There was a budget, or at least they said at the time, that that could cost around $250 million, but that money was never budgeted. So today, during some budget hearings, when uh, Sheriff Waters was there, I asked him about the jail move. Here's what he said. I think we can get something done um, with a partnership with the mayor and the city council. It's necessary. The jail is in a, it's, it's in a pretty rough condition. Um, so we want to work toward that. We're going to do some studies to find out what it will cost us to be able to do that. And I'll give that over to our city council, give it over to our mayor and go from there. If that's a possibility, do you see that happening within the next five years or? That's difficult for me to tell, Jim, to be, to be quite honest with you. I just think it could, it could take four to eight years. I don't know. And that's the thing, it's being discussed. I did reach out to Mayor-elect Donna Diga and she texted me back basically saying that she's aware of this, didn't really want to comment on this time, but she knows that this is going to come up within the first year. Now, coming up all new at 6, we heard from Sheriff Waters. He's going to talk about the number of new officers he wants to see happen. All new at 6. For now, we're live outside the jail. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.